Yo guys, what is good? It's your boy John Wong here, back again with another video. And today, we're gonna go over the shoe that I traded for my Panda Dunks. By the way, I forgot to mention that if you guys can already tell, I'm not in my usual plain background wall. Instead, I moved to the other side of the room and I kind of have this new setup. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this setup, but um, I'm really going to try to change it up just so that you guys can see at least a little bit more of my room. And I think it looks pretty dope. Just let me know what you guys think, but we'll see as I'm editing this, I'll see if I like it or not. But hopefully I'll be able to stick with this because I really want something more than just our plain white wall. So yeah. So if you guys have watched my previous videos, I have said again and again, I absolutely hate the Panda Dunks. I can't stand them. I just think that they keep restocking every single month. You know, like it's just so overplayed. The shoe is just so basic and everybody has them. So I don't think that there's anything special about the Panda Dunks. So before I talk about the shoe itself, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to already include the name of the sneaker in the title of the video. But this is a shoe that was in my top 10 most underrated sneakers of 2022. And basically as I was going over this shoe, I was really contemplating like, yeah, why is it so underrated? I honestly think it's a really, really nice shoe. And I was just thinking, I really want to cop it, you know? So I as I was editing that video, I thought to myself, you know, this shoe is around the same price point as the Panda Dunks. Why don't I try to find another trader on Trade Block? So initially, a lot of people did decline my trade proposal, but eventually, I did find someone who was willing to trade me the shoe for my Panda Dunks with an additional $10 on top. So I was extremely excited that I was gonna get this shoe, and as you guys can see, I got the box right here. But before I open it, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of footage that I took as I picked this sneaker up in the mail. So All right, so I wasn't expecting to film just now, but UPS just dropped off a package at my doorstep. It was actually really late. It's like 5.30 right now. So I don't know why they decided to wait that late in delivering my stuff. But yes, this is from Trade Block. And then hopefully I'll be able to show you guys, you know, a whole review of what this shoe is. All right, so I decided I wanted to open the box with you guys to kind of show me going through the process of, you know, what my reaction is and stuff like that. I, I haven't even seen the shoe in person, so I'm gonna open up the box. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with the camera in my hand, but let's try it. So I'm opening the box right now. All right, so I got the box open and woof. All right, all right. As you guys can see, we got some packing paper and you can already see an orange box. I'm so excited for this, my guys. Whew. All right, so I'm probably gonna talk more about this in my review, um, but let me just open up this shoe first and then I'll get into the details in the future. Three, two, one. Here we have some packaging. Woo! Wow. These are the Sakai Cortez. I've never had a pair of Cortez before and I'm pretty excited. I haven't even tried them on yet, but let's just see how it'll go. To be honest, these look pretty cool. I don't know how they're gonna fit yet, but I will try them on. All right guys, back to the original video. In five, four, three, two, woo! All right, as you guys can see, we do have the Nike Sakai Cortezes. All right, so I'm gonna take these out of the box and I'll get to talking about them in a minute. So here we have the Nike Sakai Cortezes and I guess this is the classic OG colorway for the Nike Cortez. So if you guys haven't watched my top 10 most underrated sneakers of 2022 video, I suggest you go over there and watch it right now. But basically in that video, I talk about how this shoe is super underrated because I feel like the Sakai line is so brilliant and it's so nice. And I was just wondering why these shoes 
Blues were going for so low on the market. I think they're literally only going for about like 10 if not less over retail price. When this shoe first released to the public, I thought it was such a nice shoe and I thought, you know, like why are people hating on this? The colors look nice, the silhouette looks nice and I do like that, that outsole as you guys can see where it has this kind of double sole and I just love the blocking on it. I think it looks so cool. But unfortunately, it wasn't until I opened up in the mail and I really saw them for myself when I kind of finally understood why a lot of people didn't end up liking this sneaker. So first, I'm going to go over the shoe itself and kind of do a review on them. And then I'll tell you guys my own personal opinion on these shoes. As you guys can see on the upper, you have a primarily nylon material all over. And then in the toe box, there's some suede. Honestly, the suede on this is not that premium. I feel like there are other shoes shoes that have a lot better suede. I think it's the same kind of quality as the Nike Blazers, where it's just the general shoe. So, you know, the suede doesn't need to be that crazy. And then as you guys can see on the Nike Swoosh, you have two. First, you have your classic red one that's usually shown on the Nike Cortez. And then you have an additional gray swoosh that is kind of subtle, but I think, I honestly think this looks really cool. Then moving on to the laces, you have your standard white laces, nothing too crazy. They actually don't give you any additional laces, which is what I'm kind of bummed about. I feel like this was a missed opportunity with the shoe. Uh, you could have done maybe, I don't know, red or blue laces that could have been added on to the shoe. So I'm kind of upset about that. And then moving on to the tongue, you do have two tongues. I think the first one, says Nike Sakai as you guys can see and then the second one is just your classic Nike logo moving to the back of the shoe so you have the Nike logo on the heel tab right here and then you have this blue blocking of suede and then transitioning over to a regular whitish grayish suede then moving on to the bottom you do have a double blocking of the outsole and I think this is pretty cool as you guys can see it's pretty similar to the Nike Sakai LD waffles where you have this huge thing sticking out and then finally moving on to the side profile of the out so you do have an air unit and i think this part just kind of makes the shoe stand out even more and then finally looking on the soles i don't think that there's anything too crazy about them there's nothing too special this is just the classic soles that are usually on the nike cortez all right guys so i'm gonna take a quick break from the video and just show you guys what i just copped so originally i had two sets of uh, drop front sneaker display cases and for black friday i recently just got a pack of six that I just picked up from the container store. So yeah, now I can show off, you know, all my heaters. I got a pretty nice sneaker wall going and it looks a lot more full, you know, rather than just two. So I'll just show you guys what I got so far. I got the Yeezy Turtle Doves, the Nike Sakai LD Waffles, my Amelie Andor 550s that I just copped, the Balenciagas, my Blazers, my Spider-Man Jordan 1s, Cream Ultra Boost, Custom Air Force 1s, Sean Cliver SB Dongs, Off-White Prestos, Paris 1 Lows, Obsidian 1s, Yeezy Blue Tints, Air Max 90 Infrareds, this is her what's yet to come. Off-white zoom flies, lightning Jordan 4s, my chameleon ones. So coming along, this is really nice. I don't know if I'll get another set of six. That, that'll be a lot. I don't even have enough shoes to cover 24 boxes, but who knows? Who knows in the future what will happen? But yep, I just wanted to show you guys this real quick just because even though it's not sneakers, it's really related to my sneaker collection. I want to show you guys like how my sneaker collection is, you know, it, it develops and is built over time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Back to the regular video. So I haven't worn these sneakers yet, but I have tried them on on foot. And after holding them in my hands, I can kind of see that honestly, this shoe is pretty cheap compared to the Nike Sakai LD Waffles. You know, the material on those are amazing and it just feels great. But I feel the nylon on these Cortezes and they just feel super cheap. I don't think that Nike did a great job when they were doing quality check on these. They just feel very cheap, kind of almost like an outlet shoe in my opinion. And then finally to the worst part that just kind of made me decide that I didn't want this shoe at all was that when I put it on to my feet I just felt that these sneakers were just extremely chunky as you guys can see by just the shape of it this is a super chunky shoe and it's not even like a Jordan 4 chunky or a New Balance 550 
chunky. This shoe is just extremely thick when it's on your foot and I honestly can't see how I would make this shoe look good with any pants that I wear. So it is a bummer that I really wanted to try the shoe out and I was excited to wear them. I finally realized why these sneakers are so hated on. I don't think that they're going to be ones that I'm going to be wearing. I think I'm just going to, you know, stock them and hopefully wait for their prices to go up and yeah, I'll save them for trade bait to buy a shoe that I actually want. But for now, these are just going to be sitting in the box. I'm not really going to wear these, I don't think. As for sizing, I do believe these are true to size. I don't think that you should go any more sizes up because I do think your feet will then look like rocks and yeah these shoes if anything you should probably go a half size down if you don't want your feet to look that chunky but they do fit standard sizing and last of all my final input on these shoes is that if I were you guys and I was looking for a new pair of Sakai's, this would not be the pair to buy. I think that, you know, there's really nothing positive about this shoe other than the fact that they look extremely cool. But that's pretty much it. You know, when you're buying a shoe, when you're wearing a shoe, you want to make sure that it's one that you're going to enjoy wearing, that's comfortable, that it's made with good materials. So sometimes looks can be deceiving and that's what I'm really bummed about. But I guess, you know, I was able to make this video, so it's not a complete loss. But there we have it the Nike Sakai Cortezes. All right guys, that's pretty much it on me talking about the Nike Sakai Cortezes. Now I wanna hear from you guys. Are you guys feeling the shoe or is it a no cop? If you guys like the video, please, please, please do me a huge favor and leave a big thumbs up. And if you wanna hear more from you guys, smash the subscribe button guys. I really wanna keep growing this channel and I need the support of you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the Nike Sakai Cortezes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.